Hi everyone, this is the best reconstruction of this episode I can currently provide. Uh, the state it's in is one that I am not proud of, but unfortunately it is the best quality I can provide for you guys. What had happened was around an hour into episode 22 being streamed out, my computer decided to essentially ch choke. Choke really fucking hard. So... I decided to start recording onto OBS, however, OBS for some reason only recorded the stream output, so we still have audio from the stream, but unfortunately the video itself is frozen. So I've reconstructed the video element that we were watching to sync up with our reactions, however you will not be getting things like our our faces actually reacting to it, unfortunately. I regret this uh, mistake, and I will try and prevent this from happening in the future, but, like, I'm only fucking 19 years old. I don't know shit to do. All right, please enjoy the video, and if you did, share it with all your friends. Cannot hear the cereal. Okay, I'm, I, I'm, right. I'm back. We are officially... Oh. Hang on. Wait for it. We're live! Whoa. Hello. Deja oh. vu? Never heard of it. Oh, damn it. As soon, as soon as we're about to go on stream, I find, I find a video essay that I really want to watch. <laughs> no? Shit. Gonna have to wait. Can we pause the, Can we pause? We'll watch it on yeah, stream. Yeah, can we just, just postpone this? Well, I need to go to Walmart anyway, so you can watch it. <laughs> In fact, I don't you even want to be to here to... either. Yeah. You need to go to Walmart. I'm gonna buy another top hat. A brown top, top, top hat. Yes, yeah, stack them on top of each other. Like pogs. Do you guys ever play pogs? Yeah. It's the funnest shit in the world. It's like gambling for kids. Like they stack up a bunch of the pogs and they're not the stack up the ones that flip over you get the key. Damn. You guys ever shoot at your friends with firearms? Or if you're a pussy, you uh, you, you don't keep it. You try not to play the game. game. You get something, you have actual stakes. Damn. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Degeneracy Live, episode 22. Woo! Whoa. Here we go. have not done this again before. No. Never happened. This is the first episode 22 Mandela of all time. Effect, actually. You think otherwise. I was yeah. here the whole time. Ever I since... never made a funny bit. All lies. So how are we doing today? On yeah, October 1st, about... the day after National Podcast Day. You know, I was thinking about 9-11 with a really rock hard boner last night, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. Ludacris's birthday? Yes. Ludacris's yeah. birthday. That always happens when I think of Ludacris. <laughs> Yeah, you like you you add in the with well, a rock hard boner thing like that's necessary to include like it's not implied already by the, but go ahead. I was yeah I was thinking about it and I just came everywhere. I don't know. Oh, okay. Was, that's why. That I was the whole yeah, bit. The whole I bit. I strive to have your comedic talent one day, Siri. I was I had a boner once. Wasn't that funny? Penis. <laughs> How have you been, as serve? Mr. Serve? Well, I've never had a boner in my life. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. I have no funny bit. You have no stakes. Yeah. You see, we have a, a range of characters on this <laughs> Real show. eclectic cast today. Yeah. We need to get varied opinions. How about you, Bronze? Yes. Are you... Uh, which, which party do you lean in? Have you ever had a boner? Uh, I'm independent, actually. <laughs> Indep and he's an independent voter. And I'll, let, and I'll let you figure out what that implies. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh. So, on the so Bronze, have you ever had a boner before? You know, I think what we really need to focus on... Yes and no. It's Joe Biden having a boner <laughs> on our borders. I haven't thought of that. I think he has a boner for ice cream, but... Yeah. Whenever I see him talking, I always expect him to just start talking about, like, Werther's Originals or something. Um, I see him talking, I expect to start, like, have him start like, casting spells and shit with how old he is. Anyways, Bronze, you're the holiday man. What holidays are today that you want to wish our oh. audience a happy? 
Yeah, well, yesterday, I wish, unfortunately, we did not have an episode yesterday. But yesterday was National Podcast Day. It would have been very uh, poetic. Serendipitous. Yeah. But today yeah, is World that's a, Vegetarian Day, so yeah. euthanize all fortunately, your friends. Fortunately, today is National Change a Light Bulb Day. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's also a good holiday to have a podcast on. It is yeah. CD Player Day for, which is a big day for me because I have nuts. a massive. I... Also, Boo! Jimmy Carter's Boo! You suck. But I have a big also, collection of CDs, so... Also, happy birthday to Zach Galifianakis. Yeah. Happy which birthday, I am, Zach. Which I am only bringing up because your name is funny. <laughs> My girlfriend on the z- had... On the show. I, I have a, a strange tattoo of someone that kind of looks like Zach Galifianakis. After I woke up with not hmm. a dollar in my pocket. Um, I got the I, reference. I put a lot into that joke. Today I hope. is... Yeah, you really. Also F- and he's also FGTV Chase, whoever that is. Oh, oh God. F- oh, FGTV. God. Happy birthday you to broke, FGTV. We, I told you not to bring him up on the show. Who the fuck is this kid? He's not a kid. He's he's 12 years old. Oh, God. Well, that's not a kid. It's also, it's Jimmy Carter's birthday, and he's not 12 oh, years he old. Oh, is, it is Jimmy Carter's birthday. Oh, yeah, it is. He's 13 oh. today. It's my favorite. I love Countdown. <laughs> Jimmy Carter. My favorite character from King of the Hill. <laughs> Anyways, um, so w- with no funny here, uh, yesterday we did try to do a stream uh, covering the imminent uh, government shutdown, which would have shut down uh, food services to a lot of uh, underprivileged people. Um, things like the U.S. postal system, etc., would have been held up. Basically, many people would have been essentially forced to work without pay. But fortunately, we uh, s- managed to smack a band aid on that and uh, extended a 45 day funding measure to save us. So now. Everything's yeah. fixed. Don't so think now we it. can't talk about it on our fucking podcast. <laughs> well, it's so yeah, funny and the stream because, shut down because the the uh, the terms of the fucking uh, shutdown are essentially just conservatives needing something to go their way, and if it doesn't go their way, we, we're gonna shut down the entire thing. It's like if, yeah. if you're playing a board game with like an annoying younger sibling. And they're not winning. Like, I don't want to play anymore. We're done with the game. No more yeah. game. Just flipping yeah. the chessboard. I'm not sure how in, how in depth of on the topic we're going to go with it, but I just like to remind the audience that the last time the government shut down, it was because Trump was angry that no one wanted to give money to his big wall. His big ball. His massive ball. <laughs> his one ball. <laughs> well, yes. I would All like the best to point out one the ball. F- the first time the government ever shut down was because Jimmy Carter took too long. But I, I didn't know what to do with that bit. I'm sorry, John. You had time to think okay. of that bit and still... Jimmy Again, Carter's I peanut farm was not big enough. <laughs> All right, shut the fuck up, fake fag, so... <laughs> ah! I, could, I could ruin your livelihood right now by just saying a slur and reporting the podcast. Do it. No, no, no. You're shut woke. The fuck up. You're too woke you know, to faggot. say a slur. Shut up, faggot. Shut up, faggot. That won't see. They'll let you say that, but actually, it turns out the first government shutdown in America was started by Jimmy Carter. Was it? A... Yeah, of peanut course, farm because... wasn't big enough. Did you know uh, he has a peanut Mexico farm? He needed Mexico to pay for his peanut farm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is this funny? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. Like, is this is this what you want? Um, yeah. So essentially, conservatives are holding the entire country hostage and saying, if you don't let us uh, turn immigrants into fish food, uh, no more money for Congress or or Damn. many Americans. But yeah, um, we're gonna move on to this funny Twitter interaction that I had with a. Uh, highly regarded individual. So, yeah. It starts out with uh, Dreamleaf here. I, I feel so great for seeing Drake, this interaction. You should probably share your screen so we can see what you're talking about. That's a good point. 
Wouldn't that wouldn't that uh help out? That would be that would be cool. You don't have me on for my comedic genius. You have me on for my political genius. No, mm. it's just for your technical oh. ability. All right. Am I sharing the window? There we or go. Am I sharing? The West has fallen. Hang on. The West. We're, we're applying to Advaj. Yes. I just want to make That's sure the I'm real, streaming the, the real sad part. The, the whole display. All right. Do you not like Vosh? I feel like I should. People have told me to not like him, but I don't and know anything about him. He's a good. Does he like little man. girls? No. He's a good. I man. think there's. He's one of the good. I think ones. there's some. There's some bullshit nuance with that where maybe. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to have another stream about this. <laughs> we'll have a stream where we talk about Vosh. We'll, we'll have a stream with Vosh on. We'll give him a hand yeah. up. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll, sh we'll shout His him out. His name rhymes with Vosh, so that's good. Anyways, so it yeah. starts out with Dreamleaf applying to Vosh. The West has fallen, and it's sarcastically uh, replying to this picture with a, a progress flag on a building. Uh, so this person, Rich Bullbones 74 says, Realize what you said. If it was a swastika, you would have a seizure. It just so happens to be your people's flag. Wow. Which is uh, probably unparalleled that's, genius. That's, that's truly political insight. This guy must see, be on the he must be on the left side of the intelligence yeah. bell curve. <laughs> you see, if it was actually a, a man shooting minorities in the street, you probably wouldn't <laughs> like it as much now, would you? Yeah. If it was something else that was bad instead of something good. Not sure you'd be a fan of it, uh, Dreamleaf. If it was if a that, big sign that just said of... the N-word, you wouldn't like it now, would you? <laughs> if instead of that flag, there was gore porn, you would be mad, wouldn't you? No, you'd be aroused. If it was Goatsy. Now, now, now that, that and I would. If it was 9-11, <laughs> I'd think about it at night with this the I didn't even notice this. Before. This guy got ratioed to hell. When I originally replied to this, I asked him, like, in good faith, and no one else replied to it, but then everyone else jumped on the band. I kind of helped with the ratio, I'd say. Yeah. I'm kind of a hero. A trendsetter. I don't, want, I don't like to throw the word hero around very much, but... Of course. So, it's so uh, I reply with, can you explain why these are comparable? So then this guy replies, you look like me ten years ago, homeless and spreading anarchy. Wow. What? <laughs> really really committed to the bit. He though. saw he saw that I I do a a, a co like a comedy gimmick on my YouTube channel where I am like a homeless person doing commentary videos and took it at face value, which ex which kind of uh lampshades this guy's critical thinking skills first of all. Yeah, well. Say, but... I mean, it he is half right. You are indeed spreading anarchy. What anarchy was this guy spreading? The anarchy against Jewish people. Mm. Well, if it was a swastika. Yeah. Um, I agree that they aren't compatible, which is not the word I said. Comparable. Not compatible. Yeah. At, at least you spelled it right. <laughs> yes. And no one made any assertions otherwise. The rainbow yeah. flag is subversive and stolen from God. Now, the first time I saw this, I wasn't sure what he meant by subversive. I think he meant perversive. Like uh, sexual? I think subverted it's, his expectations. Subverted, I don't know. Yeah. It's satire. Yeah, it's satire of but, God, and also the stolen from God thing is so funny. It's yeah. Also, that is like an an ancient take, by the way. Stolen from God. That was something that like conservatives were saying about the original rainbow flag in like the nineteen sixties, like like just off the cusp of like Rosie the Riveter. That's how fucking. I mean, yeah, God invented color. God invented Skittles, color. Skittles, you're stealing the color? rainbow from God. Are they stealing the color from God by being people of how color? How come this is? How come this is the only thing that people get mad at that's stolen from God? Why don't you get mad at fucking Lucky, lucky Charms? <laughs> yeah, or Skittles. Well, that's because they're yeah. not perverting it with their disgusting well, yeah. ways. They're not scandalous. Although. A uh, Skittles does every Pride Month remove the colors from their Skittles and make them all gray. 
Which is honestly the biggest contribution to uh, LGBTQ people any corporation has ever made. So I guess. Well, yeah, I, guess that's I right. love product. I love consuming goods. Well, yes. Are you under that umbrella of the LGBTQ? Am I finding this out for the first time? Oh, no, I just uh, am bad with money. I just like, yeah. <laughs> Asked and answered. I just waste money. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's the wrong thing. But yeah, this is so funny that he just says, like, if it was something else, I don't think you'd enjoy it very much. Yeah. (laughs) What if it was a guy punching you in the face? Would you Mm. like it then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless he means that the the pride flag is, the progress flag is the equivalent of, like, a Nazi flag to him. So, like, the pride flag is, like... They're both flags about groups. (laughs) You know... Makes you think, really, if you if you put it that way. Yeah. But like, is this how he yeah. sees the pri- the the progress flag uh, targeted at himself as being the fucking? <laughs> this is just like being a Jew in World War Two to be conservative and Christian. This guy would definitely be the kind of dude to say, "Why are we so divided nowadays?" <laughs> Anyways, by the way. This was a like very much in in like charitable way of asking it. Like, if he had a legitimate, well, so yeah, which is the which is the best way to expose idiocy is to like genuinely take it seriously and then have them fall on their face. Yeah, yeah. Um, this was yeah. also. Well, I will I will say, just as an aside, this is probably the best take that the Twitter handle at Trapped Official has ever made. Honestly. Oh yeah. True. Oh yeah. I uh, I changed my Twitter handle to uh, Trapped Official, and I'm kind of regretting it. But someone else took my original handle, so I'm stuck with it now. See it's who worth the it, new though. see who the new male VTuber is. I'm curious. Uh, it's literally just cop. It's just a Twitter. It's like a parody page of myself. Oh wait, I should probably not. Probably, probably, just not put. Not, well, now now I want to see it. Well, I didn't. I, well, I don't know if there's gonna be anything on there. Yeah, it's, this all, is like, it's all porn. Okay. This is like Crackmiser Gaming. Probably. True. <laughs> Real. This is this is definitely Crackmiser. Like, unironically, this is just Crackmiser Gaming. What's Probably. funny is that this profile is followed by Hartsy Protsy, who is like uh, a friend of, uh, uh, what the fuck, Mumpkey Jones. <laughs> so I'm curious... Mm. Is this someone involved with uh, Monkey Jones, or is this someone that thinks this is me and is following this? <laughs> this might be Monkey himself Mumkey. exacting hey, revenge hey. on the episode we made on him. <laughs> well, he made only three tweets, or they, I don't know. He, oh, it's he, him, and the pro, so I'll just say he, him. Uh, What's something, a clue that I was able to uncover is that this was a an old reply that they didn't delete from the profile saying, bro says it looks good and calls it a good business partner, but also says they aren't working with some. And, uh, mm. I don't know. That's the only, uh, trace of the original profile. So, the search is on to see who this is. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably Crackmiser Gaming. He says, it's not me, guys. But he said that before you said that, so. <laughs> Ooh, we'll see. Could be anyone. Yeah. Anyways, uh, before we get into this, I just want to go over this this funny tweet from uh, Scott Adams. Oh, if yeah. Biden is this elected. One's, this one's good. There's a good chance you'll be dead within the year. Republicans will be hunted. This was, <laughs> interestingly, Thank God. this was posted in uh, July of 2020. So how many... How many Republicans has Biden successfully hunted? Do we do we want to? Damn it! I thought this was estimated. This was recent. Yeah, I like that Biden was like, "We need to fucking kill Dil- Dilbert, <laughs> the Dilbert man, the greatest." Yeah, it says the Dilbert guy. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is the greatest threat to our national security, Dilbert. Republicans will be hunted. They need to be like, like they're the main character in like a post-apocalypse movie, like where there's like a uh, total instead of government instead killing. of like instead of like zombies killing everyone, it's just that gay people can get married. Yeah, 
Well, yeah. that's terrible now because now you're going to be forced to marry a dog now because of a. Uh, yeah. Cause well, now it's it's woke. Yes. So. <laughs> well, if that's what Scott Adams says, then it must be true. Yeah. Gay marriage wasn't woke before, but Joe Biden made it so. Well, yes. And so are you are you in a gay relationship? You know that you know that Trump held up a a, a pride flag that said LGBT is for Trump. Yeah. He could yeah. possibly that be it. homophobic. What's funny is that flag is literally upside down, too. Damn. Yeah, let me pull it up here. Satan. It's just, it signifies that the LGBTs are in distress. Uh, why is this the first picture? This, this is NBC's picture of it. I don't know what the fuck. No, I, li I like it at like 144p. <laughs> The S is written Mark like it's like, phone. um, like an exponent, like it's to the fifth power. Yeah, five times, well, twenty-five times as gay. <laughs> what else we got here? Oh, uh, has it? Have we seen this video? Me and Brian. I have, have but I would love, I would love talking about it because it's, it's, it's a good one. SRV, have you seen this video? No. All right. I'll be ready for like the most big dick individual you'll ever see. His cock's hanging out at this point because I'm fucking massive. For, for context, this is a uh, this is a prank YouTuber's video in progress. I guess the prank is just being annoying. What's that? As all great pranks are. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, I've never thought uh, of all the videos I've seen of somebody getting shot. I've never thought both things at the same time that they did and did not deserve it. <laughs> like the countless videos. This guy deserved it. He's annoying. No, nah, I'm fully. Honest. Yeah. I, I think he should have shot him in the fucking head. That would have been much funnier. Mm, I I I I think that was a bit I, of an. Estimation. I wouldn't go that far, but he does deserve no. it. <laughs> no. He deserved it. He's a prank he, YouTuber. Yeah, he got fucking shot in the chest. For, for, yeah, that for wasn't enough. You're thinking think about my penis head. through Siri. His reaction to it, it was almost... It's not like he fell over. He's like, ow. Hey, what was up with that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> the, guy, the guy that shot him, by the way, was so fucking, like coy about it he he went from like zero to 60 there he's like stop stop go away yeah. and then he shoots like a, like a <laughs> he fucking like a fucking eric andre bit yeah no literally like it's like i said this last time but it's, it's literally like looney tunes where you just pull out a gun and he like turns to ash and then crumples to the floor like <laughs> uh it's so this funny. really says a lot about society. Apparently, right outside of Popeyes. I uh, I don't I don't have Plus any uh, verification for this, but I I believe the guy was acquitted. Oh for yeah, committing... a joy a joy did acquit this man of attempted murder, except like a except like a smaller gun charge. Well, yeah, I... the jury was like, yeah, that guy's kind of annoying. Yeah, you're fine. It was a YouTuber. I mean, they're they, they, only. We have yeah. the three fifths compromise just for YouTubers. I think that might solve a lot yeah. of our issues. They they only account for three fifths of a human being. Yeah. Uh, last, thanks. Thanks. Last clip Great. I wanted to play here. Um, this is a clip from the original uh, YouTube Rewind 2018. I just want oh, okay. to take us back here it's, and and see. Do we feel? As strongly um, about it now as we do back then. Well, 2018 was five years ago. It's a bit of time. Let's hit see. Up, hit up the ball, Very nostalgic bro. for it. Blast it's a nostalgic from the critic. Do you love me? I love this song. I got a one called Zohim the Excite. Do you love me? We should probably talk over this to make sure it's not a copyright claim. Oh, yeah. Wow. But they're walking. Yeah, oh, listen to Drake. I feel like Drake. I hate Look okay. at the talk show host. Yeah, I forgot about Trevor, that. The guy. That guy thinks he's on the I, team here. Who I forgot. I forgot about a, a ton of these people. Yeah. Because none of them guy? are relevant. This looks like fucking dog shit. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. They did, did him like dirty. Some, I don't think he. Did some like gotcha animate part. YouTuber get like selected through like a raffle or something? No, this is like his. This I. 
remember watching this guy. He like draws much better than this usually. I don't know what the fuck happened here. Oh yeah, I th wasn't this the one where like all the animators just got fucked over? No, oh, this none, is the yeah, one no, after none the of one these where guys the animators got, paid. got fucked over. No, this yeah. is the one where all the animators got fucked over. None of them got paid. Oh, did they? And of yeah. all the things, of all the things put in the background, he just puts Kiki come back. He also put the number 18 to signify it is 2008. He also is probably being held at gunpoint to like make this, so you know. The perspective yeah. here is, is I'm, I'm questioning, I'm questioning a lot with this. The more I look at it, the worse it gets. Like, it's... You, are you telling me that story time animators don't understand basic animation techniques? It's not even animation. No, that can't be right. Are you riding? Welcome to And also John Oliver. Yeah. For some reason, John Oliver. So, what do we John think? Oliver. Does it YouTuber. did it deserve being the the most disliked video of all time? I mean, yeah. yes. I have I have strong opinions. I'm trying uh, to remember. Not in the way you think, actually. You were I mean you were uh, you were very much a, a contrarian about the YouTube rewinds. Yeah, like, it's not actually. I think that like people say. My big my biggest gripe was that of course there's going to be dead memes in this thing because this is a video about all the things that happened in the year. But also... Yeah, but there's there's such a misunderstanding from YouTube of, like, what people liked about the year. What was the... They're like, hey, also, some talk show it feels like the animation also, a lot of, were, like, totally perfunctory to the actual video. They were yeah. completely... And also, a lot, of the a lot of the peak of the criticism of YouTube Rewind was made at the time when YouTube was, like ramping up to becoming the massive entertainment corporation that it is today. So, like, obviously YouTube isn't going to show Filthy Frank in one of these videos. Yeah, but they should, Cause, though. Because, one, Filthy <laughs> Frank isn't as... Filthy Frank wasn't as big in the mainstream as people think he is. And, two, they're obviously not going to show that type of content in their corporate Why promotion video. Why did they have Idub saying the N-word? That, yeah. was, that was, like, peak content. That, that was the that biggest was thing that happened in that year. Yeah. Nothing else happened. Honestly, like, if you have to make it so corporate that it barely resembles, like, what happened that year, maybe you shouldn't do it at all. Well, that's well why I mean, they all, of these thing, all of these things happened in the year. It's just that you don't care about them. This video, I'll say that the video is made for the people it's made for. And... Yeah. We should we should not have expected much from it. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, no, I always had low expectations for these. Find who that man is. Is it yeah, a I good thing I... that they stopped making these? Yeah. Probably. Maybe. Okay. That the one really they made in twenty nineteen like was not like awful, but it was also yeah, just not like it was it was a good it was a good idea not because like oh they realized the error of their ways, but it probably was just like hurting their bottom line because these things were getting so much hate. Maybe because because some random YouTubers were like brigading the videos with dislikes. I will say that PewDiePie's own YouTube rewinds and even Mr. Beast's to an extent were complete cancer. Yeah. yeah, they weren't good, but they, they were they were the opposite. I feel they like, were the opposite side of the coin. I feel like people only liked them because they they were not the YouTube rewind thing. So you have to like them because you then you're owning YouTube. Yeah, I will say that there were there were issues with the uh, YouTube rewind that are more objective than just misunderstanding the the culture of the year because like they didn't include PewDiePie in basically all of the YouTube rewinds, and he was the biggest YouTuber. <laughs> I yeah. think that's an issue. He is also evil. Oh, yes, that's true. I don't think YouTube yeah. ever got over his edgy phase. They were like, hey, you're banned forever. I mean, he wasn't being... Well, ed I mean, truthfully, he's not actually a very uh, provocative person. It yeah. is just he. I think I mean, I've said it was there was a he will ever there say. was there was a period where like he was really leaning into the edgy stuff a bit much, like more yeah, than he but usually did. It was never did. like Idub's level, really. Yeah. Like one time he wore a military uniform, uh, and watched. Well, actually, now that I describe it out loud in words, it kind of does sound bad. But, like in a clip, he wore military uniform and watched Nazi videos. 
and then just say the that it doesn't sound very good. And then there was the Fiverr thing, which like everyone for some reason forgot to mention the part where like the joke was that he didn't expect the people to bring up the sign. That's really yeah. Like in his reaction, he was surprised. Yeah. Like the point of the joke was like, "Fuck these Fiverr people will do anything." That is pretty funny. How's the stream looking, everyone? Everyone enjoying the stream? Everyone having yeah. a good time? Is it functioning at properly? <laughs> All right. All right. We don't want any more lost media. All right, we're gonna watch. Of this. course. Are we ready to? Uh, yes. Uh, sure. Fine. <laughs> you're pulling. You, you're gonna fucking break my arm over it. Oh, oh yeah. Look, voters like to have a contest, and they like underdogs. The guy on screen is like some... Bizarro World Bernie Sanders. The guy that was is, is right. on the right of the woman. Oh, the woman, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, the guy on the right of the woman. <laughs> Holy shit! It's Rudy or Giuliani. Just the woman herself is Bizarro World. Is that Bernie Rudy? Sanders? Rudy Giuliani? He hasn't kicked the fucking bucket yet. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, I, th if, I think it's literally just some guy, but like half of Republicans just look like Rudy Giuliani. I mean, yeah. I don't know. The people the people that they invite on for commentary on Fox News are so funny. Like they like I feel like the application to get on Fox News is not very uh in, like comprehensive. It's just yeah. if we you can say I'm words and are a white person or just Republican, you'll be on here. What is funny here actually is we, we, let us on. we uh we mentioned this last time but it's worth reiterating is that where it starts here saying that people will side with trump because they like an underdog and trump is the underdog in the republican party at the moment yes can anyone spot an issue with that is he's truly the underdog i've never seen anyone bring him up really yeah you know moreover it's not like he's leading the Gentlemen, I found the guy that was in that video that you guys were making fun of. Hold on. Well, oh, yeah. on which video? The the rewind one. This is that guy. What about him? The old story. That, the guy you were making fun of for having shitty art. No, but what about him though? You may do. You may hold I, on. You just found the person. Yes, I found who it is. Oh, I didn't you make a good video. Was, video? So what? He hasn't made a video. One about you two rewind and two in five months. Well, damn. We lost a great YouTuber. but Or maybe not. I've never seen it's it. It's so funny that mm. Trump is leading so far in the polls in uh, the GOP ahead of the other candidates by, like, a ton. It's going to thin out more as more and more drop out of the race. But, like, Trump is, like, 30 points ahead of DeSantis, and he's in second place. Yeah. No one expects anyone other than Trump to be the Republican candidate. Yeah, like, what's the point Honestly. of these debates? They're wasting fucking time. They're just... I think it's to get the old people to say, hey, vote for me in 2028. Well, yeah, they all have to get, they all have to get their stand-up material out. <laughs> I mean, honestly, a lot of these come out as just... A lot of the uh, interactions here, as we'll see, is just sort of the, the Comedy Central roast of... Uh, like Chris Christie. Yeah. Anyways. And one yeah, thing, one of the candidates one thing. calls Trump Donald Duck. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which is a really weak roast. We'll, we'll get to that. One thing that I do want to uh, bring bring attention to the audience. I believe I brought this up in a previous episode. But, See if uh, you can take just a take, demographic just take, just take note <laughs> of the, the questions that are asked of them. Usually, they are... Either yes or no questions, <laughs> or questions that require a, a, very, a very basic, mostly one sentence answer. And just take note of how often they do not do that. I meant, I meant it's like, yeah, they they need. Well, I'll I'll bring this up again when they actually get to the questions here. But like the questions, it's like they had a specific answer already in their head, or they need to bring it back to like one of the five. Uh, conservative buzzwords so they'll like play this game of like six degrees of kevin bacon with it to like bring it tangentially over to the predetermined response that they have to shit on biden or immigrants the or economy the economy inflation you'll see in the yeah they've been 
They've been practicing their answers in the mirror for like weeks now. Yes. Especially Chris big, Christie. It's the big day. Fox News wants to talk to Something us. Something attractive over the course of these two or three I thought or someone four was debates. Screaming in the there background. There could be there. a problem being absent on the stage. Everybody on the stage. The, the whales of the dam. <laughs> Everyone saw the, the an appropriate the sound in the, said, I'm open to voting in for the Reagan rise. memorial. Only one candidate in the Republican race saw both of his. <laughs> oh yeah, this is in the uh, the the uh, Ronald Reagan Library, and the way that they talk about Ronald Reagan is like he's Jesus Christ or something. Like he is yeah. the uh, what the fuck is the word? Messiah. The, well, not the Messiah. It's it's when someone's the the like the best human, the prime example of something. He's he's the goat. He's, he's it. goated. Uh, Magnum opus. No, 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 no. It's for a human. Apotheosis of of uh, the Republicans. Oh, I would I would have gotten that. Yeah, that was my next thing. That was the guy who was absent from the first debate. All right, I hate to go this. This is the national anthem. I think I hate to even I talk. I think I didn't even fucking like recognize really 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 the exigencies of president. I thought it was God save the queen. Was that? Was that man speak English there? Were those, were those words? <laughs> he, he couldn't recognize the national anthem. He might be like a a, a lizard man yeah. in human skin. You you humans no, and you it's... have debates with one another on TV, right? To uh, watching Kellyanne Conway. We got a couple seconds left, so I'll give you the last word. Your bet on tonight. Go ahead. Sure, I think Trump is casting himself still as the underdog, underestimated. Like, what are you talking and about? Under that's so stupid. I'm so like maybe in 2015 you could say that, but eight years later, I don't think he can really say he's the underdog. He was president of the United States. <laughs> well, I mean, adding to the confusion is the fact that one, everyone sort of expects him to win but two right now no one expects him to win at the same time i because like he's gonna he's definitely gonna be in jail soon oh but yeah. also there's no one there's no one else that's that is trump like trump if is if trump dies tomorrow like conservatives are fucked right like <laughs> yeah. we'll still pick him as the nominee oh yeah we'll it'll be like North Korea dead where man. a dead person where a dead person presides over the United States. They weep at Bernie's him. They put sunglasses on him and act like he's talking. <laughs> yeah. The front runner as well. And he hovers very big here, even if he's not here. I want to hear from everybody. What he's would they do differently than Trump did? Or what would they do the same? Just all around different us. style. You could feel his presence. Wall, all right. Ukraine, crime, economy. Got Give us jump. something different. Crime. Got it, Jeff. Kelly, crime economy. Bad. Appreciate it. Carl Rowe, thank you very much. Good luck to Dana Perino. Brett, thank you. Good luck to Dana and to the others. Thanks for watching, folks. Second Republican primary debate starts right oh, now. Oh, importantly, this how come, is... How, this is how being, come these newscaster people never look like they know what they're doing? <laughs> yeah, they're always... High in the hills losing. of California's Simi Valley. Stand Important thing to note is that this, uh, this is being simulcast on Univision at the same time. So when these Republicans are confronted with their anti-immigration laws, like Vivek is confronted about wanting to do away with fucking uh, birthright citizenship, they very carefully try to tiptoe around the th to not try and piss off the Hispanic audience that's watching this. Yeah. It's a monument to one of the Look, most beloved... Look, Ronald Reagan and his famous was. Yes. Wow. We've talked about how terrible this statue looks last time. Yeah, this is a fucking awful statue. Right. Look at that. <laughs> it, doesn't, look at his it, arms. Even, it doesn't look like Ronald Reagan even, really. But Legitimately, if you didn't say that was Reagan, I wouldn't have known. Yeah. I thought it was Bob Barker with hair. The, uh, <laughs> the folds on his shirt there look like... They made the shirt, and then they're like, shit, we need to put wrinkles on it because it's a shirt. So they just go, psh, psh, pinch, pinch, pinch. Looks like they, like, vacuum sealed a denim jacket to him. <laughs> like like the Space Saver vac like uh, bags you would see on TV back in the day. Yeah. Maybe they did, like, the Han Solo Holy thing shit. with Ronald Reagan. He's seeing like, Heiling right now. Shit! V, say Nazis are bad. Well... It's really. Well, I mean, clearly he's yes doing a lot. No. He has, he has two graphs. He has two graphs. 
He was holding a football, so you know he's a real American. <laughs> yeah. You like tax those, right? Tax increase versus tax cuts. America's 40th commander in chief. He railed against big government. Wow. He railed what? He railed big government. Go I'm sorry. He railed big government. Absolutely pounded it. <laughs> Nine most terrifying words in the English language are Tickle Monster, and I'm coming to tickle you. <laughs> oh. The Tickle Monster, I'm here to tickle you. Nine from from the scariest words Nigeria. in the English language. Paul Blunt, more cops, starring Kevin James. It is kind of funny that they're like idolizing Ronald Reagan, even yeah. though in his second term he kind of had the same problems they say Biden has with like. Yeah. Oh, they they bring this up later in the in the uh, the show, but Reagan provided more amnesty for illegal immigrants than any other president since him. Republican or Democrat, he was very big in, like, uh, naturalizing uh, immigrants to be U.S. citizens, allowing them to work and build a life for themselves. Well, I mean... You did, did something good? That's right. I mean, the Messiah can have flaws, too. You know, <laughs> Jesus is... Jesus is, Man Jesus is, is woke fallen. now, apparently. Well, you know how they always say, like, Biden has, like, dementia and stuff? Oh, like, yeah. That was sort of, like, Reagan's... Second term, I think. Well, Reagan. Yeah, Reagan. Reagan was like melting since day one. Reagan yeah. has like that charisma, though. He's got he's got like that sort of movie star energy. You know. Yeah, had... that's that's the, the 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 disturbing trend of the Republican Party is that both of their most famous presidents are just uh, TV actors who are charismatic but don't really provide much else. Tear down this wall. Wait. But didn't you want to build the wall? Sir, I'm confused. Mr. Gorbachev, suck on my balls. <laughs> 40 years after Reagan's landslide re-election, the Republican Party no. faces critical questions. Oh, yeah. Uh, he was... Critical questions. Of people holding hands. <laughs> horror. Dun, dun. What does it mean to be a conservative? We fight for the truth. We are not going to worry about what the left and the media say about us. What is the key We're... to a thriving... Scary gas prices. <laughs> Man with saw. <laughs> Working. Economy. Yeah, they just... American jobs. Listen, we got all these pictures in a bundle at a... when we licensed them from Shutterstock, okay? We're going to use all of them. <laughs> Economy.jpg. It's innovation, not regulation. America could do for anyone what she's done Tim for Scott me. Tim Scott is like a fake politician name. Why is why why do you sound like he was on the verge of tears when he said that? <laughs> I think he was. Because his his <laughs> the weight of all the decisions he's made to lead him to this point had finally br were brought down upon him. It was like Mitch McConnell realizing all the civil rights he took away from people just had him frozen in place, uh, uh, petrified. At the realization of the harm he's caused to the American public. Yeah, that's definitely what that was. He did not just shit himself. Yeah, not once, but twice. Fool me once. No, it happened twice. Do you not know that? Fool me once. Shit on you. <laughs> we will stop the earmarks. What is America's role in the world? We need I have to go. A a planet needs to, to the whitening no, challenges. Oh, okay. The you whitening know. challenges? I'm sorry. Hmm. Seems... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's sus. An ever more dangerous world. Sometimes you avoid war. Look at this venue. By showing you tough. How'd you is get that it? the same? Is that the same venue as the Jeb Bush please clap clip? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Everyone in attendance looked bored out of their minds. He's in a fucking high school gymnasium. <laughs> Who's like? Ever more dangerous world. Look so, at this. This is a high school gymnasium that he's in. Oh yeah. Giving his presidential I hope, election speech. I hope he did. I hope he did some three pointers afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Look again. Take a look at the demographic of people in the uh, the crowd here. See if you see if you can spot any commonalities among them. Literally uh, they're all every willing, single person. All willing polo shirts. You they're spotted all bored. it. That guy's on his phone. <laughs> Sometimes you avoid <laughs> by showing you tough. And the country faces even more challenges. Would Reagan even recognize the country in which we now live? <laughs> Tonight, can 
Oh god. Oh this shit. Guy. This guy so, is someone left someone left Martin Scorsese on the radiator. <laughs> this is the guy that ruined our stream last time. When he came up on stream the the that yeah, we, we looked directly into his eyes and your, your computer fell, left on fire. Yeah. <laughs> his eyebrows were too big for your computer to withstand. You couldn't yeah. render them properly. I said this before, but he looks like if you took the two late, like main leads from American Psycho, the detective and American Psycho, and put them into one. They, like His full name, American Psycho. <laughs> yes. Like Christian Bale and Willem Dafoe put into one person. He's got the head and shape of the Republican uh, nomination converge in California the face of to the chart a new path. I love, I love, I love Chris Christie's turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, we're coming to just like, your what? ass. Just like, oh, like, excuse me? <laughs> now it's like you've irritated him. You caught him on a bad day and you're annoying him. Yeah. Nonsense. Looks like you, you interrupted him to tell him that he forgot to pay his parking meter. <laughs> Damn. Welcome to the second Republican debate. I will say, the Republicans have one thing going for them, and that's theatrics. Well, yes, of course. No. You'll see, and you'll see that on the location of this debate. In Simi Valley, California, we're inside these. That's just a fucking. We're getting more Reagan. There's just a fucking plane looming over them the entire time. Well, Bronze, what do you want to do? Get like move the plane? They had to have it in the it's Republican a, Museum, in in the Reagan Museum, yeah. the Reagan Library. They have to, so so his spirit can shine down upon, move them. upon them. I would have moved the plane closer, personally. I would have done the debate on the plane. Yeah. Inside the cockpit, within like within it. Yeah. Force one. The, the true way, test. They have to here, fly the plane. This this is a very small audience. Now that they're actually pointing it out, like that's pavilion where the stage is set for yeah. a showdown. Like a handful of people. This looks like. Why does it look like Breaking Bad Mexico outside? <laughs> yeah. Well, they're in California. They're right on the border. That's how bad the yeah. border is. That Mexico itself is impeding into the country. Mexico's orange filter is seeping into our country. <laughs> I'm Stuart Varney of Fox Business. Why do we have an English person appropriating our culture? my co-moderators, Fox News Channel Dana Perino and Ilya Calderon. Cal uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You fucked it up, uh, Stuart. You are getting cancelled. Damn, that's that. Look at that woman. That's the exact face I'd make if I was in her position. Is this the same woman that was uh, in the opening before, to the left of uh, Bizarro World, Bernie? I think that I think Fox News be. Fox News just has a like a cloning chamber for blonde women. <laughs> I think she's a crisis actor. Mm. Univision. Good evening. They need one blonde woman every Thank you. show. Thank you, Stuart. President Reagan famously described America as a shining city on a hill. And tonight, mm. seven candidates will make the case they should be the one to lead that city into a brighter tomorrow. But first, the city of they America have to convince you, the voter. Please is his city. allow me to welcome our Spanish-speaking audience. Muy buenas noches a todos desde la biblioteca presidencial de Reagan. Being dubbed Los over? Why do you need to? I, ho I hope that she's actually saying like, partido. like, Bien. why are you watching this man? <laughs> do something so, else. Let's meet the Go outside. Qualified and chosen to be on this stage tonight. They are positioned by the order they Is that like a sneak diss against Trump? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, they all the they all qualified. They all chose to be Governor, here. Unlike some he people. He looks so proud of himself. <laughs> I'm number yeah, two. I'm here. Like, uh. They all wear the same suit, by the way. Like, that is not a human smile. No, this this man. Oh. This I think this, this man is Satan incarnate. <laughs> That is a short sleeve on him, by the way. That's not going to his wrist. How could he? How could he be wearing his dad's suit and it not fit him? <laughs> it's too small. And former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. Here's the woman, everybody. She does not want to be there. No. Look, I'm a black person and I'm conservative, so that's my whole platform. Is that I, I I'm not, not racist and the conservative party isn't racist because I'm a black person I'm conservative. They do have a black friend and it's me. 
and friends with everyone here. <laughs> he seems it's, the least it's, so, it's so clear in Chris Christie's face that he knows he's not doing anything. <laughs> and North Dakota I wish Governor Jeb were Doug here. Burgum. He should have ran again. Uh, oh my god. I keep getting jump scared he, by him. He, he's terrifying. I feel like I see him like outside my window at night. We have questions yeah. on a wide variety of issues important to primary voters. Candidates get one minute to answer and 30 seconds to respond if singled out. When their time runs out, we'll all hear this. We have a lot of ground to cover, so please keep it civilized. He's like Willy Wonka. We got so many things to see and not no time to see it or whatever the fuck. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> Let's get going. We are the Chris in Christie. this spacious, sunny place tonight. Designed to reflect all the Oompa the Loompas are like little Donald Trump. Of Ronald Reagan, uh -huh. it's a place Damn. that that's a biting social commentary. To be yeah, he's an orange man. Yet today, our nation is drowning exactly. in division. And but instability. none of them are the real Donald Trump. Both say he they want to be there. the 2024 election and find politics exhausting. Two in three Americans think the country is on the wrong track. If, if you like, keep a point like. Keep an eye out to see how fucking vague these questions are. <laughs> yeah. Things, things, Some people bad, think the it? country's bad. In three, in four, say the the economy is not. Three and four shape. people that we Twice. tell the economy is not in good way? shape. No. I see we died. Did she really? Yeah. So how long? Yeah, were she you, left. How long were you gonna wait to tell me? I think she announced that she was leaving. Yeah. But she said she's coming back. Yeah. All right. Well, I took her off the screen. ...are up 18% since 2020. More Shit. than half 18%. <laughs> Lack of access to child care, and we as the Republicans will make sure to fast-track that to them, as we are known to do. ...little access to child care. 85% of Americans say their personal... Does money stress you out? Are you poor? Most <laughs> Americans say yes. Luckily, Vivek Ramaswani is here to help. Finances <laughs> are a source of stress. Americans want to believe a leader who says, you can follow me. I've got you. Don't worry. Pre who says that? Candidate. President Biden is trying to do that with Bidenomics. And yesterday, he joined the picket lines where auto workers are demanding more wages and job security. Those bastards. Senator Scott, you recently reacted by praising Ronald Reagan for firing air traffic controllers in the 1980s. It said, oh, shit. you strike, you're fired. He's still waiting for his turn to speak. He's like, <gasps> mm -hmm. it's my time. Yeah, he's Would really holding it in. Of striking auto Why is he the... <laughs> shit. He's really, uh, why is he the first person they go to to talk to, by the way? Look at him. He's ready. He's not in this today, first so or last. Obviously, the president of the United States cannot fire anybody. He was the, the most sector. anxious yeah. to talk. Yeah. Also, I'd like to note that the question was, would you fire people who unionize? We should look back at the first bill in Congress under <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> he doesn't even try to, like... Connect it. Like he resp he says it in a way that sounds like it's responding to a question, but it's not. Yeah. Biden, the first bill had eighty-six billion dollars for the union pensions because they continue to overpromise yet underdeliver. One of the challenges that we have in the current negotiations is that. They want four-day French work weeks, but more money. They want more benefits. Okay, but French people get paid more money than we do proportionate to its wealth, its worth. And also, they have a higher minimum wage and shorter work weeks, and they're doing okay. So I don't think, unless you just are mentioning that it's French to, like, immediately <laughs> negate the validity of it. Like, saying, oh, they see the Americans, they don't yeah. have French, so... Just remember, the options for this question were yes or no. 
hours. How that about is this simply instead? Not going to stand. I sat in a finance committee hearing when a widow came before the committee who was promised pensions from, from the unions, $4,000 a month. Unfortunately, it had been cut to $1,000 a month. We must make sure that we honor the commitments that we make. And one of the ways that we do that's such a vague statement. We must make sure that we stick to the promises we make. We must like we must do things as president. That. Do not you say something. You should do and it. Under deliver and leave the taxpayers on the hook. I'll say this. Joe Biden should not be on the picket line. He should be on the southern border working to close Woo! our southern border Woo! because it is. There's, this audience is full of, like, fucking cretins, actually. Wait, he border. said Joe Biden. We don't like that guy. He said border. I know what that word means. Unsafe. Also, this has nothing to do with the border. Leading to the deaths of 70,000 Americans Honestly, in the last 12 months. Because One of these people could just lean into the mic and say Joe Biden bad, and I think they'd win the debate. 9-11 was bad. Like the Family Guy joke, like nine eleven. Yeah, Joe Biden. No, it's literally that. <laughs> Keep an eye out fentanyl. for that. It is devastating. Every county in America is now a border county because fentanyl has devastated fentanyl. Americans in every single state. Fentanyl, fentanyl, these nuts. Six million <laughs> illegal crossings. Since Joe Biden has taken... By the way, uh, people in the chat are saying that we are lagging again. I've started recording the stream so we can re we can upload it and put it as one nah. comprehensive video. So unfortunately, it's not okay. going to be live, but it will be content. So nah. okay, at least there's that. Office. And he eliminated... Fox live viewers. The one thing he should do is finish the wall, well, reinstate Title 42, and get <laughs> yeah. to the job. He, I like that he started the precedent of just going past the buzzer no matter what. Like, well, yeah, his script wasn't finished. Well, I can promise you that we are going to have a lot of questions on the border and immigration. But in the meantime, we do want to talk about the economy and jobs and especially want to talk about this strike. Could you stay on topic, yeah. please? Yeah, yeah that's literally <laughs> the, the debate moderator version of, sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> More. Mr. Ramaswamy, you've said you really empathize with the strike. Look at this guy. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to show up smiling. Whenever Ramaswamy smiles, it looks... It's so fucking gaudy. Like... You're standing Is there a single Scott candidate on agree? stage who could smile like a human? Chris Christie, because Chris Christie's so with fucking what he said, proud of you himself. Think... Actually, Ron DeSantis is really fucking proud of himself, too. Like, he looks so smug yeah. the entire time. Chris he's Christie's wrong. the only one who I looks like he's having fun. He said, for sure. I like the spirit of it. <laughs> I'll say that I don't have a lot of patience for the union bosses. I think yes that's where he no. and I actually have a common view. I do, I do and I don't. I have a lot of sympathy for the workers, however. People are going through real hardship in this country. I've been through hardship the Workers are great, yeah. but they suck. <laughs> I've been through hard shit, too. When I uh, rug-pulled my parents' pharmaceutical company and sold it, I couldn't decide if I needed a, a red Lambo or a green Lambo, you know? Honestly. Yeah. My father stared down layoffs at GE under Jack Welch's tenure He's about to at talk the about GE that. plant in Evendale, Ohio. My mom had to work overtime in nursing homes God in Southwest damn. Ohio to make ends meet and pay off the loan. Wow. So I understand overtime? the hardships. So that's why. So that's why I want to kill every union worker. Yes. But victimhood is a choice. You think you have it bad <laughs> unions? My oh, mom worked fuck. overtime. Oh, fuck. I hate, I hate this, like, weird thing where, like, oh, sure, you, you may have been fucked over in the past, but you could just not be a victim about it. Yeah, you could, you could stand on your own two feet and get over it. As long as you, like, don't I, talk about it, like, it's fine. I, I was a complete poverty-stricken, desperate little orphan, and now I'm gonna be vice president of the united states because i'm the only person yeah. up here that's very obviously kissing up to fucking trump here and really wants to make it a point that i'm willing to work with him in the future and I'm happen to conveniently be inserting points of my previous career like it's a fucking resume application to be part of the united like be vice president of the united yeah. states remember when this man said that climate change wasn't real what like a week ago yeah <laughs> Yeah, not that humans weren't doing anything or like 
it was real, the but it wasn't climate as bad. change agenda is a total hoax, and I'm the only person up here that hasn't been bought and paid for. Everyone else, total corporate shill. Not me. It was cold the other the day. The earth's not warm. Victorious. Warming. Yeah. Victoria Justice. When did she get Yo. part of this? America. You know what? If I was giving advice to those workers, Fuck I would you. say go pick you, it in front the of the The feedback wins. I hope that uh, her running mate is uh, Ariana Grande. He said, he said you should go down to Washington, D.C. to pick it instead of striking in your, in your hometown of like Bismarck, Montana. should Montana. be at the border. <laughs> How about Pokemon go to the polls? That's really where the protest needs to be. Disastrous economic policies that have I think driven we, up prices, I think we, that have driven up... I think we had a protest at the Capitol at one point in time. It didn't <laughs> it go didn't, too well. Yeah, it's kind of uh, uh, irreparably destroyed the reputation of the party responsible for it uh, for for basically the, the most devastatingly in recent history. Hmm. Interest rates it's and again, mortgage rates. Do it again. At the same time, wages remaining stagnant. What we need is to deliver economic growth. I'm sure that the, the, Repu the that Trump is definitely going to raise the fucking minimum wage to be proportionate to the current. Well, no, that's not their solution. They're going to uh, ruin everything else in the economy, so it balances so, out the so other it, way. So it trickles down. So it yeah. equates. In a in a sense. Both in this country, unlock American energy. Drill, frack, burn coal, embrace nuclear energy. <laughs> burn, frack. <laughs> burn. burn. Burn, frack, and nuke. Kale. <laughs> we need to make more jobs, and the only way to do that is by fracking. People yeah. back to work. Because you don't need water or anything or a, a planet to live on. By no longer paying them more money to stay at home, stabilize the U.S. Why are you striking when you could be striking I'm, oil? I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry. He says no longer paying money to stay at home. I think he's talking about the stimulus checks that were sent out under Donald Trump. What? Three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if the jobs were things people wanted to do, they would not stay home. Are people staying home? Like, people say no one wants to work anymore. Is that... I don't... I totally don't even buy that. Maybe honestly. people realize Complete, that the, that the system is bad, so they don't need to work jobs they don't want to in order to survive. Yeah. The last stimulus check was sent out in 2021 on, like, Damn. the heel of the Biden administration, like, the front heel of it. So, like... <laughs> what? <laughs> Send a majority of those unconstitutional federal regulations that are hampering our economy. That is how oh, we yeah, he wants to. He, he's a big unconstitutional supporter. regulations like do not destroy the planet. Yeah. By the way, he is a big constitution guy. That's why he, why he wants to get rid of the uh, 14th Amendment, which guarantees a uh, birthright uh, citizenship. He wants to get rid of the 26th Amendment that makes the voting age 18. Probably wants to get rid of a couple other amendments. Maybe just all of them. Maybe yeah. just all of the them. Constitution, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. We will build a new a constitution where I am the king. <laughs> In my honor. American exceptionalism, and that's this not a guy is pure evil, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, he's just like. This is this is the problem that I have with this guy is that like he has the he has the confidence uh, of Trump, and he has like all the talking points down, but he's just not funny. Here's, no, here's the thing. Not, yeah, he really stands not. out among the other candidates as being noticeably, significantly, outwardly evil. Yeah. <laughs> and... like he, ha he has all the media training Trump has, but he's not like an entertaining train wreck to watch unfold. Right. Yeah, if you make what Mike Pence vision? look good, maybe you should tone it down a bit. Well, he's yeah. working. He's, he's in third place right now in the polls behind... Uh... He's doing about as well as DeSantis, basically, so you could pass him easily. Yeah. Once more people drop out of the polls uh, and uh, more and voters start voting for other parties, that they'll probably get more votes among them. Or maybe, maybe they'll just go over to Biden and be like, "Fuck it, well we can't do it this way." Yeah.
or a Republican vision. That is an American vision that we embrace economic growth and capitalism is still the best system known to man known to, to lift man. us up from poverty and we should not apologize for it. That's what it means to Whee! be an American. No that apologies. That's what it means to be American. He's patriotic. He's a brown, I'm American. He's a brown person. That's I know that. <laughs> Fucking what was the Scatman question? John back here really doesn't look impressed, though. Oh, yeah. This Wait, is his, there's a guy this with is, even bigger eyebrows. This is his one moment where he gets to come back to life, and this, this is where they sent him. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield look, has some heavy eyebrows here. All these people look He decrepit. really does. Yeah. Oh, these are one guy in the back. These, look, these guys look like like old Simpsons background or like Rick and Morty background characters. They look hideous. Look at this man. Look at like <laughs> what? The one guy looks like Bob Hoskins Mario. <laughs> By the way, I I, I I question the authenticity of this of this applause here, honestly, because like it doesn't look like anyone here is clapping. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's like, yeah, all the right. CEOs of General yeah, sure. Motors, Ford, and Stellantis make 336 times Ron the number of rank... the, uh, member, number. This guy's rank... not. This guy's not put together. This guy's totally wasted. <laughs> he's British. He's out of element. That's just part of a, walk, a wider income. In a... He's, he, he is. He is struggling here. Like, you thought Biden was a stammerer, dude. This guy has his finger on the page following along like a third grader, and he still Well, is... I mean, you can't be too hard on him. All the notes are in American English. <laughs> Quality trend in the country. The richest 1% now controls one-fifth of all income. Vice I'm shocked none Pence. of the people here are what? making fun of him for being British. <laughs> That's what I would do. Last week you said you side with American workers. But you also support how these companies operate. Which is it? <laughs> well, thank you for the question. I want to thank. <laughs> Figure that one out, dumbass. So, which is it, basically? Is it this one or this yeah. one was the question? Well, first of all, thank you for the question. Go Great question. I love the Fox words in it. It's a very handsome-looking question. Form. Look, I do disagree with something Tim Scott just said. Joe Biden doesn't belong on a picket line. He belongs on the unemployment line. Okay. Wow. Brought that literally had to nothing to do with <laughs> anything that was just said. Immediately has to bring it to Joe Biden. There's not even a segue to it. It's just a complete non sequitur. Great question, man. Joe Biden sucks. Now, Mike Pence, what do you think about wealth inequality? Personally, I think that Joe Biden should be shot. Listen to this this uh, this thundering laughter he gets from this joke, by the way. I'm like such a wonderful forum. Look, I do disagree with something Tim Scott just said. Joe Biden doesn't belong on a picket line. He belongs on the unemployment line. That was a pity laugh. Like... Wow. <laughs> cool, like... Good job, man. Yeah, Good you job. made a joke, and I'm acknowledging you made a joke. It wasn't funny, spent a, but spent a couple hours in the bathroom mirror on that. Got one. to bed about two, two thirty, staying up late writing that one. The second leading manufacturing state in the country per capita. By the way, how fucking dog shit do you have to be to be vice president of the United States and be doing as badly as you are for your presidential election run, where three people who two months ago no one's even fucking heard of are ahead of you and then you got the gov like the governor of florida and the governor of south carolina ahead of you okay, it probably you doesn't help that trump towards the end of his presidency was like yeah pence i don't like you anymore i mean yeah, yeah I mean, he probably, was yeah he was literally set to die on january 6th <laughs> he, would, he did no one expected him to get this far i was governor of the state of indiana we brought 12,000 factories back to America during our administration. I, I know something about manufacturing. And I got to tell you, while, uh, while the union... Uh, this does not elucidate your position at all. <laughs> bosses are talking it's a real about nice question, my friend. Now watch me ignore it. In wages. I, I have to tell you, I really believe what's driving that is Bidenomics has failed. 
Wages are not keeping up with inflation. Auto workers and all American workers. I bet when that bell rings, he's just going to immediately stop because he's just hoping not to answer the question at all. So he's just kind of fucking uh, waffling here about not. They're all they're all filibustering the Republican debate are feeling it and families are struggling in this economy and joe biden's green new deal agenda is good if for we can get a transcript of this and f find how many times joe biden inflation economy is said i think we would discover the new highest number like mathematically holy shit speaking actually hold on what's up just mentioned just mentioned the green new deal and uh I want to do a bit again. Sure thing. So, oh, a famous bronze bit. Crack Miser Gaming yeah. is still with us, even though I believe the video has pretty much frozen, and we're just getting audio here. But I am recording it, so I'll edit this all together and put it up as a video. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, we sort of alluded to it earlier, but uh, recently I made a two-hour-long documentary blag about uh, the singer Chris Taylor Brown and his wacky antics political based antics yes he's, he's quite a character and, and if you want a teaser for that here's uh this since uh, the green new deal was brought up which is uh designed to uh eliminate climate change uh here is uh chris taylor brown's opinion on the green new deal um okay in 1984 oceania is always at war with one of the other of the two other surviving states orwell writes that the reason for this warfare was to keep the wheels of industry turning without increasing the real wealth of the world. Goods must be produced, but they must not be distributed. War is a way of shattering to pieces, or pouring into the stratosphere, or sinking in the depths of the sea, with materials which might otherwise be used to make the masses too comfortable, hence, in the long run, too intelligent. <clears throat> this is the real purpose of the Green New Deal. <laughs> To waste our resources so they are not used to benef for the benefit of the masses. The oil in the ground is your birthright, my fellow Americans. Do you agree? Yes, the Green New Deal is... any is, of that English? The, the Green New Deal is, without exaggeration, without any irony, literally, literally 1984. 1984. <laughs> if somebody said that at the debate itself, I bet it would get a standing ovation. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. That is essentially what Mike Pence was just saying. Joe Biden bad. Yeah. And bad for Detroit. We ought to repeal the Green New... What does Detroit have to do with any of this? <laughs> Detroit. Detroit is in Michigan. Detroit, become human. <laughs> New deal, get rid of the mandates and subsidies that are... Mandates? How many mandates have you been on, Pence? You're over them now? driving American gasoline automotive manufacturing into the graveyard. And beyond that also, uh, as I didn't realize how terrible he is at speaking. And this is definitely I, like a, a, a rehearsed response that he had. In when, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do this with every response, but I'd just like to remind you that the question was, uh, do you support wealth inequality? President of the United States Pence has uh, stood I'll be like right next to Trump all, all those America. times for his speeches and learned effectively nothing. <laughs> right. He's got no charisma. He's got he's got no cunt to him. He just he serves zero cunt here. Yeah. Trump's sassy at least. He's got And I will say the worst the worst flaw of Mike Pence is that his hair is worse than Trump's. <laughs> oh god. How is it like cleanly within the profile of his head? Like he looks like a guess who character. Like the child who drew him forgot to color in the hair. <laughs> and I'll be standing for the right to work of every American to join a the union right to or work, not join which we a don't union have now apparently. Decide. Okay, so he's so he's saying that pro union basically or be pro option to union, but also have the right to fire people if they try to union. Damn, can't believe Mike Pence made a base stupendium reference. <laughs> but <laughs> essentially, it is a uh, yes and no. It's like, oh, I think people have the right to unionize, but also employers should yeah. have the right to fire them if they try to unionize. So I don't know yeah. if it's a right or a but, but also, I think that billionaires should just eat all their money so mm. that no one can take it from them. <laughs> it's, all, it's 
Sorry, uh, your money was right here, but it's in my uh, my belly right now. I'm afraid. I I, I eat it. Up, so you can't eat the rich if I eat my riches. Will you care to respond? He didn't even hit the buzzer there. He was, that was a poor runtime. That wasn't even. That Joe Biden needs to be fired. That's why I'm running for president. I look forward to being the next president of the United States. The only difference in this guy's suit between everyone else is that his tie also has black in it. You see, it's symbolic. <laughs> he's he's the black conservative on on the red part on the red side of the spectrum. Yeah. Do you think he put that much thought into it? Yes. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. I hope that none of them coordinated their outfits at all and everyone just decided to wear identical uh, tuxedos. It's like a sitcom, like, oh, fuck, one of us got changed. Five of us have to change. I will also say, I know America can do for anyone what she's done for me on restoring hope, creating opportunities, and protecting the America we all love. Growing up in a single-parent household, I wondered if the American dream would work for a kid in the inner city. I've got good news for every single child, whether you're in the inner cities of Chicago or the rural parts of Iowa. America I have good news for you, home. children. I will not be president. <laughs> That's the best. You'll forget I exist <laughs> in three months. That's a huge weight off my shoulders. Thank you. The dream, it is alive, it is well. To be fair, that is Chris Christie's uh, angle. Pretty much, yeah. Also, the American dream is still alive, even though Joe Biden is currently suffocating it with his uh, raging yeah. uh, uh, communism. <laughs> okay. You, you got there eventually. Bronze, why are you following John Swan on Twitter? Uh, because I don't actually know why. I you think like I forgot. Minecraft sex mods? Un I think I forgot he existed. Unfollow. healthy god bless these united states god bless these <laughs> these of america these nuts. dr haley you raise your hand yeah, i think we need to look at exactly what happened biden showed up on that picket line okay, okay. what is the conversation even about it's like there's it's like these responses are not integrally connected to one another like in response, they're connected by theme. Was <laughs> question was what will you do about wealth inequality? The American dream is still Joe alive. Biden. But why are those workers actually there? It's because of all of the spending that he has pushed through in the economy that's raised the inflation. So when you look at the fact that we are paying higher gas prices, what the fuck higher are you talking prices, about? Seven thousand dollars more a year for families. What we need to you do think is actually that not. You think that Joe Biden has a slider on his desk yes. that he can raise to He's raise the gas prices? He's actually independently in charge of the price of everything. Did you know that? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Whenever you get people at the store complaining to you about um, prices of things, saying like, oh, this is the current administration, right, Biden? Uh, immediately, the best way I found to shut them up is to ask, like, oh, is Biden in charge of the price of grapes? And they're like, he has a big red button on his desk that says inflation. And when he pushes it, There's inflation, inflation goes up. And then he has a second button on his desk that also says inflation. And he, people strongly urge him not to press that one. <laughs> With an economic plan, eliminate the gas yeah, well, and diesel tax. Yeah, well, he had to switch out so the, the Diet Coke button that, that Trump left in there with something else. Yeah. Is that real or is that, a, is that just a, a, a story? It, it was real. Really? It was real. That's awesome. Yeah. I think on a TV spot, there was like, yeah, I got this button right here. You know. Because he's, because he's a man child. <laughs> he couldn't just keep a mini fridge by his desk? So I will say, I can't complain. I can't criticize him too much because I also would want a soda button. That's what I'm saying. Is that? Yeah, I'd put one in. So, so, so we're in agreement here. Trump was right about everything. Yes. Okay, glad, glad that we come to an understanding. They have more money in their pocket. Let's focus on on going after middle America and cutting going taxes after for middle, middle America. America. I'm sorry. Let's get him. Was that a Freudian slip there? Get him, boys.
America and collapsing those brackets. Middle America, Let's vote get for rid me, of and we're coming to get you. Like the state and local tax that they give to wealthy people in in blue states and not and paid by red states. Huh? Get rid of the tax paid by blue states by wealthy people. Get rid of the tax paid by wealthy people. Is that what she just said? I think she's. Just we need to go after saying. the middle class and get rid of the tax of of wealthy people. Genius. Well, the, the little guy, the little guy on the control panel in her head, like slept on the economy <laughs> button. <laughs> like a cat like is on her keyboard thing. right now. They're all panicking in her head. It's like the SpongeBob episode where we threw out his name. And let's make sure we make the small business taxes permanent. They only made those temporary. They made the corporate taxes permanent. Let's, let's tax all the small money. businesses. Yes. Yes, that's the problem. I'm not sure how how well this strategy of going after the middle class is going to play out with the middle class. I mean, it's a good thing she's looking out for minorities, though. It's yeah, one minority, the the rich, but it is a minority, I guess. So I, I guess she's offering a consolation. Yeah. Them. By the way, this is hugely like socialist. To saying, oh, we get rid of taxes for. Uh, <laughs> Get rid of taxes and use them for good things, but but just for uh, the the upper class. Yeah, we'll get rid of the taxes at the top of it, and then t it'll trickle down. Of course. Takes to get more cash in the pockets of workers. Shut up, woman. That's when we'll be able to deal with strikes like this, not sitting on a picket line like Joe Biden is. Thank you, Governor Haley. We have other questions to get to about economy. Allow me to. I, I, people um, are kind of confused. Allow me to. Allow what me to, just sorry, I have to jump in because we're missing the I point, and every in. other network is missing the point. The reason why people are striking in Detroit is because Joe you. Biden's. Then what? What do you? Okay. Yeah. No one mentioned Joe Biden up to this point. No. Oh. Interference with capital markets and with free markets. The subsidies, we're subsidizing the automakers and we're subsidizing... I like that we have both the North Dakota and South Dakota governor trying to run for president at the same time. ...the cars just, and a particular kind of car, not face. every car, we're particularly like we're subsidizing to, electric vehicles. They need vehicles. to put a jump scare warning <laughs> on the screen before they show Like a countdown before. Unfortunately, the show was live, so they couldn't put something in in time, but... Yeah. And Unfortunately, the, the Markiplier fans weren't in the comment section to do all the <laughs> jump scare timestamps. Jump scares stamps. are at 48.12. 40... That we're going to take all of your taxpayer monies, take a billion monies. dollars, subsidize a certain type of vehicle. and a the certain type of vehicle. Batteries come from China. China controls 85% yeah. of the rare earth. Now that you say money, this guy kind of looks like how people would like on Tumblr would draw humanoid Mr. Krabs. <laughs> yeah, I could see it. By the way, he's saying that Joe Biden... Uh, wants to invest in electric cars because it supports china essentially did we not have a huge micron deal in syracuse new york to try and offset the chip shortage that's caused in part because of uh supply shortages in china and because we don't want to don't be all of these people follow elon musk on twitter <laughs> yeah right but d d are we forgetting about this micron deal that happened it was a pretty damn big deal well, I mean, they're hoping that the people watching will forget about it. Yeah, because Joe Biden's not looking out for America. Joe Biden. The sole person responsible for everything in the U.S., by the way. Yeah. They were probably hoping Joe Biden Earth? would do something worse before this, because the worst they could say is, well, he's on the picket line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they didn't have the material in time. They just, they just had to work with the last thing that he did. Because they're measured in parts per million. China is moving 100,000 pounds of earth in Indonesia, in a Africa. They're literally destroying the, the, in the, the country of Africa. Oh, you're saying that destroying the planet with mining is bad? The planet, so that we can, they can make a battery that's in a car. Or Naked battery? Here. That's why they're striking, because they need two-thirds less workers to build an electric car. Joe Biden, this strike is at Joe Biden's feet. What are you talking about? is non-existent. Yeah. This strike is a Joe Biden's feet. the follow question to Governor Christie. The government will shut down oh, here we go. Congress does not reach a deal by the end of this week. Vice President Pence warns that politics of, quote, Trump's populist protégés 
like Mr. Ramaswamy, <laughs> to ruin for the GOP. If the government shuts down, should They're vote both just like ready <laughs> to go off. <laughs> Christy looks so tired. Oh yeah. Who's <laughs> blame populist Republicans? Who's going to blame everybody? Who's he is? He is supporting onto that lectern for like dear life here. Like everyone else is standing loud and proud. Christie's just. He's already exhausted. He's not yeah. used to standing for this long. In Washington, D.C. They get sent down there to do the job, and they've been failing at doing the job for a very long time. And let's be honest about this with the voters. You know, during the Trump administration, they added $7 trillion. $7 trillion in national debt. And now the Biden administration has put another $5 trillion on and counting. They have failed, and they're in the spot they're in now because none of them are willing to tell the truth. None of them are willing to take on the difficult issues. They need issues. to go on the ABC game show to tell the truth. Ah. They just want to keep kicking the can down the road. And the inflation that Nikki spoke about is absolutely right, and it's caused by Everyone government spoke spending. Everyone about the inflation. And that's why people all across this country are suffering tonight. Biden is And yet we don't get any answers button. because Joe Biden hides in his basement. And won't yeah. answer as to why he's raising the debt the way he's done. And he's, Donald he's Trump not out there on the behind the walls of his golf clubs and won't show up here to answer questions like... All why is he saying it like it's here. his mom's basement or something? Like, he lives in the White House. <laughs> also, he's not hiding. He was down there on the picket lines. If you're asking why he's not there debating you, it's because this wasn't the point of the program that they're putting together. Like... I think it should. I think it should be an eight v one. To answer, I think he instead of a debate, there should the... be the Comedy Central roast of Joe Biden. <laughs> that he should be in this room to answer those yeah, questions. Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh wait, they're talking about Trump here. I guess. <laughs> yes. He's saying that Trump is hiding. By the way, Trump's probably. I feel like. I mean, I feel, I feel like, like he's there's... a bit preoccupied at the moment. Yeah, I feel like there's something else going on in his life that might might be hindering his avail his availability. But who knows? No, clearly yeah. he's just scared to debate uh, Pence or whatever. Yeah, well, he's terrified of him. People you talk he, he's about afraid of that one media. guy. And if the government, the jump scare if the guy. government closes, and if the government Can closes, it's the blame. It is to the blame of everyone in Washington, D.C., who has failed to do their job and just plays to the grandstand. You're doing the job you mentioned. Rabble, 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 rabble. I will say this, he did cause the most controversy so far. <laughs> like they, they, yeah. They've, uh, we are 17 minutes into the show and it's already completely dis like any sort of order that's been established is completely diminished. Yeah. You know what? I don't like Chris Christie because he's probably not a good person, but I, I'm endeared by the fact that he knows he won't win, so he's just going to watch the world burn. <laughs> yes. They Governor DeSantis, you haven't spoken, please. The people he seems Washington... like he's the only one who knows he won't win. Yeah. He's, yeah. And he's not even in last place. Pence still... I think I think he's the only one who is, like, open about the fact he knows. <laughs> you, can see, you can see the soulless, dead eyes of the rest of them. Like, they all kind of understand. Even this guy knows that he's, uh, you know... DeSantis here. He, he he knows it's Jover for him, but he's still deluded. But yeah. you can see it in his eyes right here in this pause that like this is it's not what am I doing here? Putting down the American dream with their reckless behavior. They borrowed, they printed, they spent the dream, and now which you're either does or does not exist everything. right now. <laughs> they are on the, the reason for that. They have shut down our national sovereignty by allowing our border to be wide open. So please. Why is he saying me, all this uh, in like YouTuber voice? He's got a bit of a, a femininity in his voice here. If you listen for it, is he? He might be one of them uh, gay gay for pay politicians. Here's for these people. They need to change what's going on. And Mr. where's Joe Beach. Biden? He's completely missing in action from leadership. Huh? And you know, he was on the picket line. You know who else is missing in action? Donald Trump is missing in action. He should be on this stage tonight. He owes it to you to defend his record where they added oh, no. $7.8 to the debt. Him and Chris That's Christie had the same idea. <laughs> He's just plagiarizing Chris Christie here. Well, I mean, DeSantis has already been outspoken against Trump here. He's basically uh, the, the the diet Trump version, where if you don't want Trump, he's like, okay, I guess I'll pick 
DeSantis. Like, if, if there's Coke and Pepsi and they don't have pe- Coke, just go for Pepsi, I guess. Yeah. You don't hate it, but... It, it, I mean, that's that's kind of an insult to Pepsi. <laughs> it's not. I don't like Pepsi. Pepsi's oh, so. good. I actually like Pepsi, but they're only their flavored versions. I don't like the actual stock Pepsi. Cherry Pepsi is very good. No, that tastes like Dr. Pepper, though. Well, Dr. Pepper is good. It's not. Where do you fall yeah. on Dr. Pepper, Bronze? Do you just have terrible taste in, like, every field? <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe in people I decide to do podcasts with, but other than that, I don't know. Uh. The stage for the inflation that we have. Now, I can tell you this, as governor of Florida, we cut taxes, we ran surpluses, we've paid down over 25% of our state debt, and I vetoed we, wasteful spending. I mean, you cut taxes for for a specific demographic of floridians it's not it's not like you cut them across the board or anything thing when it came to my desk and as your president when they send me a bloating spending bill that's going to cause your prices to go up i'm going to take out this veto pen and i'm going to send it right back <laughs> this, to them Ilya, you... uh that's a bold strategy to say if if any bill is going to go on your desk that you disagree with you're going to immediately shut down all progress of the united states you're you're just uh that's a this is like an alleg- This is like an allegory for something, but I can't put my finger on it. If I am president, I will put a Dr. Pepper button on my desk. And dads and Americans, and I know that you've been thinking about it because child care costs, they are up, they're that topping $10,000 per month. Boss, Some dude. families are spending she's, up to she's, half of the- she, She's got a camera around her neck, she's there to do press work, and she's so, so fucking uninterested. He's borderline nice. sleeping. Child care, and they're having to decide, is it worth it for me to right, work? I'm, I'm, or I'm does playing it up a stopwatch. It's Can debate night. And I'm going to pause the stopwatch when he says Joe Biden. <sighs> All right, I'll, I'll let me know when you're ready. All right, all right, I'm, and go. The billions of dollars in pandemic era funding is going to end, and seventy thousand daycare could question. close. So it's, you yeah. had an effort to broaden eligibility for child care assistance that fell apart last year. He's eagerly and waiting to the say the words Joe Biden. Who are worried? What can you tell them if you weren't able to get it through the Congress? How could you do it as president? So one of the things I did as a member of Congress was to make sure that we protected the Head Start programs around the country, giving people the opportunity to pick and choose the place that they send their children. The Thank challenges you. that we see today under the Biden administration. Ah! Fuck, there it is. There was a, 15 seconds. a special sound that played for some reason there. Got a, a vine boom sound effect. It's gone over $15,000 oh, per could... child. In the when, I, when I was recording this, I accidentally started playing another video in the background. Oh. So. Build back broker plan. By the way, 13 <laughs> seconds. Plan. It was Yes. <laughs> Going up to twenty. Do they want this guy to win or something? Wait- they keep going back to him. Oh yeah, they they are showing some very strong favoritism because it looks good for the Republican Party to have a black person be conservative. And uh, yeah, Bronze, I want to let you know I actually watched the whole trapped vid. It, it was good. Oh gee, thanks. That was the, I, I, I hope you watch it. That was the point. Sure that we actually cut taxes and give more Americans their money back. When I help write the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, we He's act- trying to do like Trump's thing of like having special names for people like Sleepy Joe. So he's going like the Build will, Back Broker plan. Yeah. We'll get to special names in a little bit. We lowered a single mother's taxes by 70% on the federal level. For dual income households by 60%. Then we went a step further. We doubled the child tax credit and made it refundable. By doing that, Then we went a step further and we just have have more resources to make the decisions how to take care of their family. Half the babies. In half. (laughs) But wait, there's more. One thing we should do is let the American people keep their money. When that happens, the these gr- are such basic platitudes. Like, let's do good things for the American people because it will be good. You can, you can absolutely tell, like, in the script he has, where like applause should be. Greatest <laughs> opportunity is good. Rise from the ashes. Okay, I need to jump in here. Fifteen seconds. Go ahead, I and then we're going to the border. Ilya, Ilya mischaracterized a part of my view. I think this artificial division is unhelpful in our party. 
the real divide is not yeah it's the- not like last week i said everyone here is uh bought and paid for by fucking <laughs> yeah yeah this why is the- are we so divided as a country Republicans on this why stage can't we all just get along in the reagan library i want to say these are good people on this stage the real divide- Hang on. but you literally said not long ago that they were all bought and paid for and that Anyone? Well, yeah, but but then in subsequent interviews, people realized that he was a dumbass who was causing unnecessary division within his party. He's been coached since then, PR coached. It is between yeah. the majority of us in this country who love the United States of America and share our founding ideals. Free speech, meritocracy, okay. the idea you get ahead in this country, not on the color of your skin, but on the content of your character. That's something that conservatives have always believed in for that their entire party's history and not like the last 10 years or so <laughs> oh yeah and the fringe minority american values like free speech that not liking joe biden over that party that's the real divide right. so this populist <laughs> did another buzzer is artificial Ilya? we need to shut up shut up we have all these questions. We're going to get to you. We're going to come back to you. No, There's a lot of time. We're about go- child care. Nobody answered the question in North Dakota. Oh my God. Certainly- he, he needs this out there. Let's hear what he, he needs to say. We knew that the cliff was coming. We knew that there was going to be millions of people without it. And so guess what? We planned. Okay. We, when we, okay, we, cool. we passed yeah. legislation. Okay. Sir, uh, yeah, cool. yeah, we get, we get it. We'll get you some questions, but you're going to have to let us move on. We are going to the border next. Child no, care no, sir. Is no, sir. Infrastructure. I haven't been given a chance to respond. I haven't been given a chance to respond. Sir, it's my time to uh, speak. A, a teacher. And said the following. The idea oh, of yeah, amnesty. this clip. For here's those right. who have put down roots and who have lived here, even though some time back uh, they they may have entered illegally. So yes, yeah, so that was basically the clip of Reagan saying that he wanted to provide amnesty for people who may have entered here illegally to become U.S. citizens and make essentially streamline the process to become a legal U.S. citizen. Um, he is, I can't believe that Ronald Reagan has gone woke. He's gone woke. Yeah, their their Jesus Christ Savior man was in support of a fast-tracking support to, you know, as they call it, illegal immigrants, illegal aliens, you know? Yeah. Well, clearly this is deep fake technology. Oh, That's really the only okay. explanation. Two years later, President Reagan granted amnesty to nearly three million immigrants, something no Democrat or Republican president has done. That woman behind her really does not like... Mm, this this contradicts my it, ideals. Mm. I don't want. I don't like it. Since Governor Christie, as governor of a non-border state, <laughs> that smile. State in 2010, you supported a path to citizenship, but when you ran for president in 2016, you flipped, saying immigrants should be tracked like FedEx packages. <gasps> Where do you stand now on a path to citizenship? For 11 million of undocumented immigrants. Well, the problem is that since no one has done anything since we first had this discussion 13 years ago, we're not in a position to be able to do any of that anymore. What we have to do now is first treat this like the law enforcement problem it is. Our laws are being broken every day at the southern border. Every day. We need to churn them into slurry. <laughs> make, make them into a, a cheap source of a, of a dirt fill. Um, I can't believe that Soylent Green is woke. And Joe Biden and his crew is doing nothing about enforcing that law. They are letting oh, it shit. go. And by the way, 20 they seconds, by the presidential way. race, they were going to let it go. And we need to have a, go- a president who acts like I did as governor enforce the law. Governor Christie, uh, what did you eat for breakfast this morning? <laughs> you know who didn't eat breakfast this morning? Joe Biden. Where is he? We Joe can't Biden. find him. He's hidden in his basement. He's scared of the Joe questions. Biden, Joe Biden shouldn't be eating bacon and eggs. He should be eating the wall. What I'll do on day one is sign an executive order to send the National Guard to and you know what else? Customs and Border Patrol to make sure that we stop the flow of fentanyl over the border, but also fentanyl. to make sure fentanyl that we send a much different message. We stew. want no. you here in this country to fill the six million vacant jobs we have. And unfortunately, that's all she wrote. This is where the recording inexplicably fucks up and becomes completely unlistenable. So, 
That's episode 22, guys. Thanks for watching.